Hello. Uh, there are some pretty serious things going on in the world right now, uh, but I'm going to tell you about a row over a sandwich. Who says I don't cover bread and butter issues <laughs> on this channel? But I promise you, I have a serious point to make. Well, I can't resist the dad jokes, but believe me, there is something important coming up. Meanwhile, I'm going to be talking about a policeman who is in the soup after he threw part of his sandwich on someone's lawn and he got a crusty response from the householder. So uh, let's look at this. Furious row after policeman throws sandwich crusts on the ground. Oh, by the way, I have had some people telling me that my microphone isn't on and I'm just picking up the stuff from my computer. That's not true. Uh, the microphone is on. I can see it, you know, bouncing around here. Honest, Gov. If the sound is low, and I also check my editing, um, my editing uh, software, that's working OK too. So if it's coming up low, it's somehow uh, coming from the way it's being transmitted to you, which makes me feel a little nervous. But anyway, let's carry on about this policeman who looks about 14 in a, a dress-up police uniform. It's nearly Halloween at the time of making uh, this, uh, this video. So we have another example of a policeman um, being a bit of a silly burger. Uh, well, you know, uh, let's let's face it, as any parent of a teenage boy knows, uh, they do eat rather a lot, don't they? And they they somehow are not that careful about cleaning up either. Anyway, uh, this particular kid happens to be not very well bred. OK, let's get on with this. Resident accuses officer of littering outside his home and showing no respect in a heated exchange, it says here. A police officer was forced to pick up his discarded sandwich crust after a resident accused him of littering outside his home. The man filmed the confrontation uh, with the Thames Valley Police a teenager after bread was thrown from a car window onto a street in Oxfordshire. In the three minute video, the resident repeatedly swears at the young officer, the very young officer, uh, during an exchange in which he accuses him of having no respect. And um, well, he, he did eventually pick it up. But there are a few things in this case that disturbed me. Initially, and this is the first one, initially the officer responds by saying that he's not dropped any rubbish. But when led around to his car by the man, admits the offending item is, well, just a sandwich crust. But his first instinct was to lie. He looked that man in the eye. You see, he, the man's pointing at him. He's looking him in the eye and he's lying. And I wonder if they're trained to do that because it was so instant, almost instinctive. And there are, there are other things that really bother me as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the resident response, so you think it's okay to pull out somebody else's house and chuck your lunch? Uh, that's acceptable, is it? And then he makes the a very reasonable point that if he'd have done that in front of a policeman, you know, if the situation were reversed, then uh, he'd have got a ticket for littering, uh, that householder. But the policeman thought he could do that. Now, this is what the police officer, the police teenager said. I can fully understand where you're coming from. I fully take that on board. I will keep that in mind for the future. 
Those are words learnt by rote. Do you notice? No reference whatsoever to the fact that he'd been littering. No reference whatsoever to the fact uh, that he was at fault here or that he'd offended uh, that person. He just came out with weasel words, a list of them. As if he'd been taught to say them to any irate uh, person who's angry with the police, uh, just for whatever reason it was. So it, it's completely contextless language he's using here. That's very wor worrying, really. It means that this kid has just learnt placatory language and, and leave it at that. Uh, you know, you say this to the member of the public and they'll go, oh, well, all right then, and move on. That's what was going on here. And his remarks appear to prompt further outrage. Yeah. I'm good for the resident. Uh, the, he tells the officer he'll be lodging a complaint and uh, told him to pick the... <clears throat> crust up and take it with you and uh, this uh, the teenager says uh, no he won't uh, and then the uh, the resident says you i'm going to stay here as long as it takes so uh, he does pick it up now we can look at the bright side oh maybe i should get his bottom out the way there uh we could look at the bright side of this he did pick the crust up in the end when challenged I mean, there are many countries in the world where if the resident had been so foolish as to tell a police officer off, teen or not, uh, he would have been severely damaged by that police officer. Yeah. So we still have a fairly civilized society, but that kid there really does worry me. And what worries me is where he got that attitude from. And here we have a spokesman for Thames Valley Police explaining that to us. They released a statement on social media saying, we're aware of the video being widely shared and involving one of our officers. Now, listen to this. Cut and paste again. We strive to learn from our encounters with the public. First of all, the very definition of the police is that they are themselves members of the public. That's the first thing. Their definition, when they were set up, civilians in uniform. But it looks, but it looks very much like whoever was dealing with this has uh, the feeling that there is us, we strive to learn from our encounters with the public. So the public is something different. It's completely wrong. And if you have that attitude, if his bosses have that attitude, uh, no wonder he lies to the public because they're, they're something else. They're the other side. Hmm? Right, well, anyway, uh, perhaps he will now start to use his loaf. Uh, it says here that the officer has been given a chance to reflect on their, uh, on their action. Oh, yeah, sorry. The officer, singular, has been involved, has been given a chance to reflect on their actions, plural. But that's because they're thinking, you know, in politically correct, cut and paste again. And learn from them. What? Learn that you mustn't throw sandwiches on the ground? Just cut and paste. Again, here. Nothing there actually with reference to what happened. Just placatory language. So uh, we'll also be asking our independent scrutiny group, which is made up of members of the public, Again, members of the public, the other side, if they have any further recommendations for us. I have, I'm a member of the public 
and I have some recommendations and well two don't throw litter and don't regard yourself as not a member of the public when you remember that you are a member of the public too you will be a better policeman and that is all there is to it right so um will this kid's uh, career now be uh, toast well i hope they just wrap him over the knuckles and send him back to work perhaps feeling a little bit wry uh, because I'm sure he needs the dough. Anyway, I do hope that he's learnt the lesson uh, that half a loaf is better, well, if it's put into a bag and taken home. And I'm Granny Opterix. Please like this video. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. All the links are in the description, including donation sites if you wish. But really, the best way you can help this video is to click that like and to share it. And the best way to help my channel is to subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, click the bell button for notifications. OK, till next time. Gosh, all that talk about sandwiches has made me hungry. I think I'll go and have some lunch now. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.